the war had started in October 1899. The immediate cause was the status of the Uitlanders, the British migrant workers who had flooded into the Transvaal in 1886 when vast gold mines had been discovered. Cecil Rhodes in the Cape and the government in London had long aimed for a union of South African states under the British Empire. Rhodes had believed that this could be achieved peacefully. But news that the Uitlanders were being maltreated and disenfranchised became the pretext for gaining a toehold in the colony. Rhodes financed a disastrous invasion of about 6,000 men, led by Dr. Jameson, into the Transvaal. It failed, and Rhodes was disgraced. Although Joseph Chamberlain, the colonial secretary in London, was cleared of complicity, tensions soared. An attempt at reconciliation between the diplomatically inexperienced High Commissioner, Sir Alfred Milner, and the intransigent Boer leader, Paul Kruger, was aborted. Chamberlain diverted forces from India and the Mediterranean to South Africa. President Kruger issued an ultimatum. If the British did not withdraw all imperial troops from the Republic's borders within 48 hours, war would be declared. The ultimatum expired, and Kruger made the threat real. From Bloemfontein, the capital of the Orange Free State, the Boers marched east into Natal, northwest into Mafeking, west towards Kimberley, and south into the East Cape. The South African War, or Anglo-Boer War, had started. <laughs>